Welcome to the homework for third grade, module one, lesson 13. Put your name in here. And our first problem says uh, fill in the blanks to make true number sentences. And we've got, there's our multiplication equation. And it's kind of like we're looking for the missing number here. Our quotient is 2. And that, that's our first one. They kind of gave that to us. Let's we'll solve the multiplication first. 1 times 3 is 3. And then that means that 3, we need two 3's and a 1. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. Uh, here's our product. 7 times 3 is 21. And if we write it backwards as division, 7, 21 divided by 3, equals 7. 9 times 3 is 27. And we have the 3 and the 9. 27, division, just like subtraction, you're always going to have the largest number start with before you divide it up. Uh, except in fractions. We'll worry about those later. Is Gillette's pet fish are shown below. She keeps three fish in each tank. Show how many fish tanks she has. So that's there's, oh, there's three fish. There's three fish. That's another tank. There's another tank, there's another tank, and there's another tank. Skip count. 3, 6, 9, right, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, there. Draw and label a tape diagram to represent this problem. So we've got a piece of tape. And we know that there are each tank has three, three fish. And that there are And we knew at first that there were um, one, two, three, four, five. We figured out that there were five tanks. One, two, three, four, five tanks. Three fish in each one. Okay, so we, what we did know is we knew how many fish there were, right? Because we had all the fish. So from here to the end, we knew that there were 15 fish. So there, that's all labeled. And then we have down here 15 fish divided by the, th the only number they actually gave us was three fish in each tank. Five. But we, they gave us the fish, we had to count to find out how many there were. But the question was here is how many fish tanks she has five fish tanks so that was the that was the unknown here for that number three 
Jan buys 18 meters of wire. Cuts the wire into pieces that are each three each three meters long. So 18 meters and each three meters long. How many pieces of wire does he cut? Well, here's our piece of tape. You know the whole thing is 18. I'll just use M for meters. 18 meters. And we know that the pieces are each three meters long, so we know three meters in each piece, but what we don't know is, question mark, how many pieces. So we're going to add, just keep drawing in threes until we get to 18. Three, that's six, nine, that should be a three. Three, six, nine, twelve is another three. The next three is fifteen. And the next three is eighteen. We don't need any more pieces. So, we have eighteen divided by Three equals, three equals uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's like it's like a vitamin. We have to get our six times three equals eighteen, or our eighteen divided by three equals six every day. Uh, he cuts. Pieces of wire. Number four. A teacher has has twenty four pencils. They're divided equally among three students. How many pencils does each student get? Each box is going to be a student. So here's what we know. We know there's 24 pencils. 24 pencils. And we know uh, there are three students. But what we don't know mark is how many pencils does this student get? So 24 pencils. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And so now we found out that there are eight, eight pencils for each student. We need the 24, we divided it into three, and we got eight pencils for each, each. Student gets eight pencils. And finally, we have there are 27 third graders working in groups of three. How many groups are there? T diagram. And we know there are 27. Kids, and we know we don't know how many groups, but we do know that there are three 
three kids in each group. So that's it, 27, huh? Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. And that's it, so we didn't need this last section here. 27. So, how many groups? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 groups. So we had 27 divided by 3 equals 9. There are 9 groups of 